This video serves as a quick overview of Z-Stacking in the LASX software. This feature will allow you to take stacked image series. To access this feature, click on the Z-Stack icon on the left side of the software, then select one of the three options, Custom, Symmetric, or Startup. Custom allows you to set all the parameters of the Z-Stack. Symmetric will capture an equal number of images above and below the current Z position. Startup will capture a set number of images moving upwards from the current Z position. We will start with Custom. If you'd like to save your current focus position, you can do this using the Set Focus button. We will now set the beginning and end points. Moving to the bottom of our stack there, I'll set begin, and then I'll move upwards and focus. And set our end point. With our beginning and end set, you can then select between number of steps, Z-step size, or system optimized, to determine the number of images within the stack. Leaving this setting on system optimized is generally recommended. If you have the EDOF license, extended depth of focus can be turned on if there are more than two images in the stack. I will now go ahead and start our capture by clicking the button here on the bottom. It looks like the Z stack. We can see it moving through our images and then processing to create our final EDOF image. I'll now go on to describe the rest of the available options in here. The trash can icon can be used to clear the beginning and end points you have set. Move to center button will move to the center within the Z stack you've established. You also could set manually set the beginning and end points using these fields for the little arrows next to them. And you could also change the overall Z stack size in the same manner. The recenter button would allow you to move the currently set up Z stack to now be centered around the current Z position. I'll now move on to symmetric. But first, for convenience, I will do move to center. We can see here under symmetric, we set the to total number of steps to be captured. It will do half above and half below the current Z position. In a similar manner, we can see it move through our images here that we can capture and then calculate our EDOF at the end. Finally, with startup, we will set the maximum number of images to be captured. We can also turn on and off EDOF for this image. In this case, I will leave it off and go ahead and move to bottom of our stack. Again, we can see it moving through our images. In this case, since it didn't create a new F, we can go, it, it leaves us back on our stack and we can go ahead and scroll through that and see that we captured our 15 images. If you have further questions in the software, you can click on the info icon in the Z stack box or anywhere else in the software and it will bring up the LSX manual for that portion of the software.